Mm. There are many charities working with those rough sleepers who are far more visible. Petra and Chris are part of the outreach team at St Mungo's in London. St Mungo's is a charity which does all sorts of things for homeless people. Our outreach teams are out every day of the week. 365 days of the year and the role of the outreach team is really to try and find people who are vulnerable and out in the streets. All right, man. How's it going? Uh, we try and sort of build up a relationship to try and sort of persuade them to come off the street and into accommodation. But as Petra and Chris continue their patrols, they stumble across a truly shocking case. She spotted someone who was just in an alleyway, looked like he was rolling a cigarette. I think when you know what you're looking for, it's easier to spot. What's the situation? Oh, well, I've been, I've, I've been, I've been homeless for ages. 31 years. Yeah. How old, sorry? 31. 31 years old. Yeah. Steve's story, not untypical, wondered why somebody had come up to him and asked him if he needed any help, and that's actually because someone had made a report of him. Now, in our eyes, it's really good because without that, Potentially, somebody could be bedded down on the street and they might not wake up in the morning. That's why it's really important. Do you want to go yes. off the street? Do you want to go with elephants? Do you want to Yeah, I want, I've had enough. It's 31 years. Right. I pick up pennies off the floor, or if somebody's generous enough to give me money, because I don't beg either. The biggest thing, I suppose, is finding somewhere to bed down and keeping it. It's heartbreaking to hear Steve's story, but with the help of St Mungo's, he's now got an opportunity to make a fresh start. Whether in squats, hostels, or on the streets, each member of the homeless community has their own story. The fact is that every